On today's episode of Welcome to the D, we're at the Royal Oak Music Theater to interview the band Glam Skanks on tour with Adam Ant. Let's head on in. So how, how did you all meet? Was this a uh, any kind of audition or was it just you kind of knew each other from school or anywhere? Or? Well, me and Millie met through a mutual friend, my roommate, Anthony. That's how I met her. They knew each other from the Bay Area when they were teenagers. And, and when I moved to LA, it was like, oh, I know a band called Glam Skanks. It's a cool all-girl rock and roll band. You should join them. And then our tour manager met Vanessa at a bar. Yeah, Mitch over there. He yeah, met yeah. Vanessa at a bar. <laughs> yeah. And I auditioned for the band. <laughs> and we were like, hell yeah. <laughs> uh, which, by the way, in the day and age of political correctness, I love the fact that your name is uh, the Glam Skanks. That's the, because oh, uh, yeah. I'm tired of everything being politically correct. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Okay, cool. yeah. We'll pass over to Tom here. We get to yeah, well, so I get the question that he obviously got you for your musical influences. What was your non-musical influences? Non-musical. Oh. Tough questions. Octavio Paz, he's one of my favorite poets. I love a lot of poets like Emily Dickinson, Octavio Paz, Robert Frost, um, Federico Garcia Lorca. I have tons of inspirations, artists, writers, musicians, um, colors. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So the other thing I have is the, yeah. also, also the most important thing is what is going on in America right now is a huge influence on our songs. Everybody who's getting out there making a difference, all the activists, the Parkland teens, Greta Thunberg, who's going out a 16 year old protesting for climate change, all these really inspirational kids out there right now and the squad for everybody who knows who that is. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Anybody else? <laughs> All right, so I gotta say, that with, also with this day and age, with women empowerment seem to be a big thing right now. You guys, girls being an all-female band, how does that play a role for you? Feeling that you guys can take something into the next generational uh, for the younger artists, or you know, looking up to you. How do you feel about that? Well, I think sharing the stage is for strong individual talented and like-minded people that are here to bring unity consciousness um, awareness you know to to really make a difference and I think that um, the more these women and younger children and girls see us doing it they realize that we're no different than them and they can do it too and that's really the hope mm -hmm. representation yes yeah. <laughs> I know definitely when I was growing up there were like the female musicians were few and far between yeah. so oh. just to be I guess like years later now, um, you know, being up on these big stages and sharing music and just being like powerful women like she was saying is really special and I mean I always and I think we all do like make it a point to um, like really support other women especially other musicians and um, we like strive to be a good example for other women that are coming after us doing the same thing or wanting the same thing. Yeah, we like to yeah. lift each other up, women should be lifting each other up especially Right now, since things keep trying to go back in time, it's like even more of an inspiration for us to be like, no, like women are powerful. We need to stand up for ourselves. We need to help each other out. We need to stick as a team, be a strong unit, and fight anyone who tries to put us down. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Uh, 
Oh my goodness, but I wouldn't give to go back in time. If you could see any <laughs> band perform, who would it be? Such a different time, so much more dangerous. See, I'd go back to like the 50s or like the early 60s. Mm. Just wandered the streets of New York in the 60s and 70s. It would be amazing. <laughs> oh, that'd be so fun. Hang, hang out with Mick Jagger. It's not like that anymore. It's way, it's way watered down these days, I feel like. I know. It's too bad. Nothing's authentic anymore. No one writes their own songs. I feel like getting gypped, you know, I feel like I was born in the wrong generation. Yeah. I'm gonna put on some new music. Ooh, what do you got?
Yeah, that, that song was really about how kind of no matter what time period you're living in, a good song can take you back there. I was not alive in the 60s or 70s, but when I listen to those songs, I feel like I was there. I feel, yeah, I, I feel like I'm in the moment, and that's kind of what the song is about. Maybe with the, the help of some substances, it can kind of take you there. <laughs> I love it, yes. <laughs> Not that we're advocating that, but... <laughs> hey, it's legal where we live, so, you know, we're good. <laughs> this is a true fact, yeah. So what about any... What about what for the uh, title for that? Anything in between. What is... What is that to you? What did, were you thinking in that? Everything. Yeah. <laughs> Everything that's anything is in between. <laughs> So, and that that sort of started from all these these awesome kids we see touring with Adam, touring around who don't fit into that that box. You know, we're we're, we're living in this amazing time now where you're not this, you're not that. You can really be anything in between. So it's for all those kids who, you know, am I male? Am I female? Am I this? Am I that? You can be anything. You don't have to be in a box. You don't have to feel like you have to label yourself, and you can be who you are, feel who you are with them feeling like, oh, what should I say I am? So you can yeah. be anything in between. I think, you know, the, the music really comes from just who we are. We all grew up on all that classic, you know, 60s and 70s rock. But we're all also, you know, products of our generation. So, all, you know, newer music that has come out, electronic music, hip hop, pop, that is also ingrained into who we are as well. So really, uh, the next direction is kind of wherever we, wherever we kind of feel like going at the moment, whatever is inspiring us. Yeah. Kind of see where the world is at that point. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever keeps it fun, you know. We're trying to keep it fun, but also we're serious about what we do and we love what we do. But 
the end of the day, if we're not having fun, then what the fuck is the point? And if the audience isn't having fun, then we're not doing something right. Because it's not just about the message. The message is, it's about, I think, like, people not even realizing what the message is and feeling uplifted and realizing, oh shit, I feel good. But I didn't realize we were talking about world peace, love, you know, like unity. It feels so like rock and roll, like, that's good, you know?